Um, what is this red thing over here? Yeah, the Cuda. The Cuda. So this right here is a 1965 Buick Riviera. There's also this guy right here. I don't even know too much about this car. As far as it, come tell us about this car. The blue one. Roadrunner? Yeah, yeah, the Roadrunner. What's up guys, this is Chris from Resto Mods. It is June 14th, it's a Friday. Happy almost weekend, everybody. If you're wondering why I'm wearing these sunglasses, I'm not one of those guys that wears his sunglasses inside uh, like a rock star, but I'm just doing that because we're running a special. And that is buy one, get one free on these sunglasses right now. These are polarized, super high, uh, super high quality sunglasses. Uh, they're available right now on restomods.com. If you pick up one pair of these, you're gonna get 80 entries to win our M26, this thousand horsepower 1969 Chevelle that's right behind me, along with an extra pair of sunglasses. That's right, it's buy one, get one free. So add these to your cart uh, and you will automatically uh, get another pair added to your cart when you put in the promo code. Joe's gonna drop it right here in the video type in this promo code you are going to buy one get one free on these sunglasses and you will get 80 entries to win this thousand horsepower 1969 chevelle right behind me and fifty thousand dollars in cash uh, so I'm here to tell you that. I'm also here because uh, we've got a lot going on in the garage right now. Uh, let me just flip this camera around and show you what is happening in here because it is a lot. So this right here is a 1965 Buick Riviera, and we picked this thing up uh, from Meekum Auctions. Meekum was out in Indy uh, a couple weeks ago uh, for their Indy auction, and we saw this thing come up, and we just could not say no. Uh, and how could you? I mean, look at this car. It's absolutely incredible. Um, I just imagine owning this thing. It was 325 horsepower uh, from the factory in 1965, which is just unbelievable. And then look at all the features in here, power seats, power windows, uh, 19 ashtrays. I think smoking was super popular in 65. Um, I was born in 1980, so, um, I wasn't around in 65, but I think smoking was super popular because there's a lot of places to light up and ash your SIG in this car. Um, it's super luxurious. There's cruise control, there's a power antenna, all four power windows, uh, power seat adjustment, and then just like the attention to detail in here is just absolutely incredible. Um, it's a beautiful interior, it's a beautiful car, and 65 is the only year that they did these iconic clamshell uh, headlights. Um, which open up automatically um, when you power on the headlights, which is pretty cool. Hopefully Joe's gonna cut to some footage of that. But that's not the only thing we got going on in here. There's also this guy right here. I don't even know too much about this car. As far as it, come tell us about this car. The blue one. Roadrunner? Yeah, yeah, the Roadrunner. Okay, so this, this car is so fresh for us. We literally pulled it in 15 minutes ago. I didn't even let him wipe it down. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to wipe it down, but um, so obviously an iconic Roadrunner, it's 70. It's a really good blue, um, mostly original car. Um, so this has a 383 uh, 727 automatic. It has been upgraded with Dakota digital gauges. It's got wheel with disc brakes. Uh, so it's got a lot of like kind of driver upgrades um, and we're kind of figuring out what we're going to do with it. Obviously this is going to be a giveaway car, but how far do we want to go with it? Um, just from what I'm seeing right now, it needs, uh, needs some body and paint. On it. Yeah, it's going to need body and paint. Um, it's not bad as far as these go. Uh, AC, that's the other thing, it has, it has vintage air. Um, and oh, you can already see, upgraded. yeah, already upgraded with AC. It runs great. Uh, That's we, not stock. We drove it over here, yeah. So Willwood Master. So a lot of good driver upgrades. Um, very clean car. The chassis is really clean. Uh, no rust. The floors have been replaced in the trunk. Uh, the quarters have been replaced. Uh, the only rust we kind of saw was a little bit like in a in an A pillar. Um, but very, very nice car. The buck tags here. Um, so there's some stuff that's not original about it already. So we don't feel bad if we do put maybe a 440 in it. Um, I like the 383 big block, but we do have a 440, a fresh 440 sitting there. So we could do that. Um, probably upgrade some of the suspension, do some QA1 stuff. But such a killer looking car. I love the 70 Roadrunner. We've been looking for like a Roadrunner, GTX, um, 
for a while now. It's, it, they're hard to find where they're either not all original, where we don't want to mess them up because the Mopar guys, once they're that original, you know, they don't they don't want us, the rest of the guys coming in and yeah. tearing up their cars, which the I understand. Guys. Which I understand. So uh, this one was perfect. It already had like a few upgrades on it. Um, and it's not anything super, super rare. It's not like a Hemi car or anything. So um, it's perfect it for us to original. start. I mean, uh, even the windows or the uh, the uh, wheels, sorry, look original. Yeah, yeah. It's got like the, you know, like the, the rally style wheels um, with the Goodyear Eagle tires. Uh, so it's got the look. Uh, the bench seat's really cool. I like that. Uh, it still does have disc brakes underneath those, though. So they're not huge disc brakes. You can still fit a 15-inch uh, wheel under it. All these cool Roadrunner graphics. It's got the Roadrunner horn. How, how original is all the, are all those graphics? I mean, that's that's what you could order. You could order this car with this really neat graphic, brand new. So I don't know. We'd, we'd have to see if we can find maybe a broadcast sheet and see what this car actually had all originally. Um, but it has a lot of cool stuff, and it's not anything super rare. So uh, we, can, we can do a little bit more mods to this before we run it as a giveaway. Um, it's just a matter of how extreme does it get. Uh, things get carried away here sometimes. As you can see, there's a car sitting on a roadster shop chassis there. What car is that? Um, so that's the 67 Chevelle that you talked about in a previous uh, garage update. What we're doing now is um, we're gonna try and fit this giant six speed automatic in there. We did, uh, Junior made a new tunnel because we were thinking we were gonna do a, a 4L65, maybe a 4L80. This is a 6L80, so oh, uh, six we're putting a big six-speed automatic in it. So I think it's gonna fit. I kind of mocked it up yesterday, but I'm gonna put on the trans jack and make sure we don't have to redo that tunnel. Uh, but everything's ready to start, like assembly. Um, we just ordered a ton of stuff to kind of customize the 427. It's got a mock-up block in it now, but... I thought that trans was a mock-up trans, too. I wish. That thing weighs like 10 tons. I wish it was a mock-up trans. Um, but yeah, we're basically... Um, we got the 70 Charger that you guys saw in a, a lighter garage update, the red car. That's at uh, 911 Restoration. Um, slash SV body and paint getting a full repaint now. So that car, we got the 426 in it, the five speeds in it, all the QA1 stuff's in it. Uh, so that's getting repainted right now. And while that's gone, we can kind of focus on the 67 Chevelle, start doing final assembly basically is where we're at on this car. We did a lot of mock-up before it went to paint. So now it's just uh, putting the parts together and picking like some finishes. We're gonna do some cool like accent colors and finishes on some of the engine compartment parts and just make it look really nice. Um, you know, bring it up to the level like that it deserves with the chassis like this, you know, a 650 horse engine. This paint job is killer. Yeah, so. the green's so killer. I can't wait to drive this thing. This is gonna be one of the best driving cars. This The Roadster Shop chassis really change how they drive. And then at this power level too, it's gonna feel, it's just gonna feel more like a modern car. Um, we about these BMWs. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't look at our mock-up wheels. There's a, there's a bunch of BMW guys in the shop, so there's a mock-up wheels laying around. They happen to be the same bolt pattern as a Chevy, so. Um, but yeah, this is gonna get big uh, American Racing forged wheels. Uh, it's mini-tubbed in the back, so we're gonna put like a 12-inch wide wheel in the back. Um, yeah, you're just going crazy with that so one. I was, I was telling them a little bit about the uh, Riviera. Yeah, what do we do with this car? What's your what's your big uh, what's your goal? Are you open to suggestions? I'm always open to suggestions. My only goal with this car is to drive it. Yeah, I just got back from driving it. I think everyone's taken this like on more extended. We've we've driven this car more in like a month than any of the other cars, and I think a lot of that is due to like it's it's very stock. So it it floats like a boat. Like we're not looking for this car to handle like it's on rails. Uh, it's so plenty of pep though, 325 horse. Yeah, a nail head is a legendary engine. Back in the day, drag racers were either running Hemis or nail heads. Uh, so they are super, super tough engines, reliable. It's got plenty of torque. Um, the carburetor is super dialed on this car, so there's no issues with it starting. Uh, I was ripping the AC. The AC kind of works and might need a recharge. I cranked it up. It didn't get very cold. It doesn't get very cold. But other than that, uh, the white leather is just so luxurious. It's I like this car. Luxurious is the word. It's luxury and it's like kind of a classy cruiser. I mean, this this car just, it feels nice just floating around town, cruising down the highway. It's tough. We do a lot of cars that handle good in our extreme. Hey, Let's go interview Reed. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at the Ram Charger because the Ram yeah. Charger is making uh, some progress. A lot of progress. A lot of look progress. So this is the YouTube giveaway. So 
at 100,000 subscribers, one lucky subscriber will win this Ram Charger. Um, so Regan's in a race against how fast we can get subscribers. I think he's winning right now. Um, right now he's winning. I think we're at 58,000. Yeah, like so if we're looking percentage-wise, I think this is more than 58% done. Okay. Um, he's got the cooling system kind of mocked up. All the all the Phytech has been mounted. I don't know if that was on there the last time, but um, you're starting to put inner fenders on, front sheet metals going on. I think the box was sitting on top of there. I don't know that it was like installed. Yeah. So he he, he put a in, he modified the the factory tank with an in tank pump now. Uh, ran all the fuel lines. They're all bracketed to the frame. Run up here. Started some of the Phytech wiring. Um, he's got the full accessory drive on. That was on before. He's got the headers in now. Um, so it's got some nice long tubes, a mini starter. This thing is like a full ground up restoration. Um, this is gonna be probably one of the nicest Ram chargers. The only other ones I've seen that are nicer are probably like full like Baja trucks, like tube chassis. But as far as a resto mod, this is probably the nicest one I've seen. The cool thing about this truck too, uh, truck, SUV, whatever you wanna call it, this is the stock 440 in it. So it is a numbers matching vehicle still. Uh, this was ordered new with a 440. It was kind of a, I think it was a forestry service truck. It had AC, you can see the giant hole for the box with AC. So we'll build a plate and put a vintage air unit in there. Um, but yeah, and that's also the original 727. We sent it out, had it fully rebuilt. Original uh, transfer case too? Right? Original transfer case that Pro Gear went through. Um, and they ac actually changed it. These were originally full-time all-wheel drive. Um, and we well, made it- rid of the full-time all-wheel We made it selectable four-wheel drive. So now you can uh, use it like a normal transfer case. You can drive this in two-wheel drive. You can select four-wheel drive. Um, the axles are not original. These are have been upgraded to one tons. Right. So it's a Dana 60, like out of a Ford F-350 in the back. Um, yeah, and then a Dana 44 in the front. Like this is like a GM three-quarter ton truck front axle. Um, so plenty for what we're doing. Um, we're gonna put some nice shocks on it. Um, yeah, we got, well, we got, we got wheels, wheels for it, yeah. Can we unbox the wheel? Let's show the wheels, because this was a part where you can go crazy and make one of these look super modern, but Regan has good taste, luckily, and uh, he wanted a classic, look, the doggos want to see him too. Um, so we went with like what was traditionally called like probably a slot mag, I think is what everyone knows them as, but US Mags makes them as an Indy. This is probably the closest to like the vintage wheel that you would have seen on one of these back in the day. So it's gonna, it's gonna look really good. We're planning some cool vintage graphics on the side, something in vinyl, so in case it's, you know, somebody doesn't like it. It's all right. stuff like this, like these would unbolt if you wanted to do a modern wheel. Right. Uh, but I really like this look, he's, he's gonna get, um, you're gonna get like some some Falcon tires for it, I think. Falcon 35s. Nice. Some 35 inch tires, so it won't be like a huge monster truck. So you guys think you're gonna beat like the 100,000 subs? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. No doubt. No I think doubt, so. He oh, he says no doubt, that's bold, I like that. We'll, we'll help you if it gets a little hairy. We'll, we'll all jump in as a team. Hey, so you two, uh, jump in there and uh, Send this video to all your friends and put some pressure on Regan right here because sure. the faster you subscribe, the faster he's got to work. Yeah, I mean, we're ready to, we, we cruised this thing quite a bit before we tore it down. It was super fun. Yeah, yeah. So I'm ready to relive those days, but, but oh, you know, better try. version. So. Honestly, I'm like subliminally hoping that the subscribers don't come too fast so that we have a lot of time. To there's really yeah. there's no downside to that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, we're running out of transmitter batteries, so we got to keep it moving. Okay. Uh, speaking of things that are not original, um, what is this red thing over here? Yeah, the CUDA. The CUDA. Um, so some of you guys might have seen this on your Mecham versus uh, Bring a Trailer comparison video. Yep. Um, and this was our Bring a Trailer purchase. Yep. Uh, so this one, it's been about a month now, I think, since we made the purchase. And the car came in, it shipped from out of state. Uh, and. We got it running. From uh, Kansas City, I want to say, like a suburb of Kansas City. Kansas City car, okay. So the only thing we've done so far, we changed the wheels and tires. Uh, we went to some US mags. This thing had like some 20 inch wheels on it that weren't super appealing. Um, so we went with a more classic look of 17s and 18s to kind of fill out the, the wheel wells. But the really special part about this car is under the hood. So this has a modern 6.1 liter Hemi um, on a Mopar Performance uh, computer setup and a um, 
This is a six speed or a five speed in this car? I think it's my, it might be a six speed. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say five speed, but. Okay. Right. Well, uh, so it's it's a manual transmission car. It's all been upgraded. It's got a tubular K member uh, with coilovers and a four link in the back with coilovers. Uh, wheel with disc brakes. Really nice, clean car. All the wiring's tucked. Um, all the plumbing's really nice. The underside of the car is perfect. It's really clean. Interior, super nice with the auto meters. Um, pro car bucket seats uh, just a classy car it's like got kind of a modern look to it but totally. um and, uh, carbon fiber yeah it's got those grip. touches but yeah still like what you want to see in a 70 cuda like you want to see a pistol grip um this dash layout is just so iconic it's just like got that cockpit feel yeah a little vintage air this thing looks super comfortable yeah so the only kind of thing that you know this car doesn't have door handles or mirrors so we're definitely gonna add mirrors, but I think we're gonna leave the door handles because the door poppers work really good on this car. Even the trunk has a popper. Um, so I don't know, it almost seems like, you know, the rectangle door handles that these Cudas had aren't the best looking, like in compared to some of the other Mopar handles. So I'm not missing them too much, but it's different for us. We usually have cars with door handles here. For sure. <laughs> and uh, and also like the locks, it's gotta have like power locks, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's it's. Although it's I guess how a, would you steal it if you had no door handle on the outside? Well, if the windows are rolled up, yeah, you can't, but. I guess we, you uh, could just pop the hood and. Well, yeah, it does have like a, a safety, which is kind of a nice thing, you know, like if the battery dies or whatever, like some of these modern cars, you can't get into them when everything yeah. dies. So this one has like a safety, you know, the hood just opens with a latch and it has a, you know, another emergency like lockout popper. So it has like this, this stuff that, you know, would make it annoying if something went wrong, they've taken care of that. Right. Um, so that's, that's kind of cool. That way you're not really worried about it. It's just a nice feature to have at this point. Very cool. And this thing is, uh, what are we waiting for? Did I hear a fuel pump? Fuel pump, I think, yeah. It, uh, it was running okay and then it kind of lost fuel pressure. So I'm gonna put a new fuel pump. I got a, a fuel pressure gauge just to monitor what it's doing. Um, but it has like, uh, it ran good for a little bit and then it seemed like it was running out of gas. Uh, we put gas in it. So I think it has low fuel pressure. We'll throw that in and put some more test miles on it. But this car, since completion, it does have over a thousand miles on it. Um, so it's like right at the end of shaking out all the, tires the little. Tires are brand new. Yeah, tires are brand new. Wheels and tires are brand new. We put uh, Toyo R888s on it. Uh, so it'll have some real sticky tires, um, make use of that four link and that uh, coil over suspension that it has. Um, what's going on with blue? I see blue. Blue is done, right? Are we finally at, hey Joe, what's, what's up? up Joe? Hey guys. Um, yeah, blue's done. It's a ripper. It's got a hood. It's got these expensive hood hinges. It's got really nice hinges. Um, everything got out of control with blue, but uh, so this is a blueprint 427. Um, we like blueprint engines here. We like the 427. Uh, this is a naturally aspirated one. We took this to Phytech um, to put it on the dyno. Uh, and this thing put down 505 to the wheels. So that's Lord. right on par with what advertised. So the engine uh, dyno to the crank, I think it was 638 or 48, somewhere in there. Um, and we had a dyno sheet from Blueprint for that. Um, and so just watching it put it th down to the wheels on the dyno was just verification for us. Um, Silver Sport 4L65E, I think they called their A41. So it's a built transmission um, to handle this power, specifically built up for this power level. Um, still has a 12 bolt rear end, but we did nine inch uh, axle housings on the end. Um, Pro Gear went through that, put a Posi uh, Detroit True Track in it. So now it's a, you know, it's got like We'll do real burnouts, two wheel burnouts now. That's pretty much all that we'll do is yeah, burnouts now. Not a lot of traction. Not a lot of traction. Um, we just went through and drove it. It's got full QA1 tubular suspension. Uh, and since we set it up, we've been doing so much work to it that we never really dialed in the shock settings. Um, but we got some feedback. Uh, one of the guys, Dan, drove it um, and gave us some feedback. So yesterday we dialed in the shock settings, threw the hood on, um, and this thing's just ready to be a shop truck again. Actually, yesterday, we finally used it to run some wheels and tires over to JBA to get mounted. So it's a uh, it's full blown shop truck again. Yeah, we actually used it for uh, parts. Yeah, shop truck activities. For shop truck activities. And then uh, shout out to RM27. Yeah, yeah, I hope you guys are ready for this. Um, you know, we don't officially announce the cars uh, in these videos, but 
we're not hiding it either. This is this is going to be the next one. So you can see how uh, how it's going around here with supercharged V8s with stick shifts. So <laughs> hard to argue with. It's hard to argue with. I mean, uh, we'll we'll do some naturally aspirated big power cars too, and then even like uh, you know the classic big blocks. We just did um, the '68 Charger with the 440 and a six-speed, and that classic big block really came alive with that overdrive. It made it so drivable, drivable to the point where they drove it back to Arizona. So yeah, freeway cruise. Cruiser big block is is not like what you first think of when you think of freeway cruiser, but with the six six gear, it gives them longer legs. I think they said they stopped like 23 times for gas. Yeah, yeah, they, we didn't make the gas tank any bigger than there stock. So. All right, well, hey, I'm gonna make you come over here and pitch our buy one get one free. Oh, okay. Because we're in the uh, we're in the last month of RM26. Oh man, this, is, this this thing's leaving the shop finally. Uh, this is gonna be bittersweet. This thing's been part of our part of our whole shop. Uh, experience for a while now, a couple years now. Years and years. I mean, dude, it took two years to build. It was sitting around for a little bit before we built it. We were driving it. Yeah, for a while. we enjoyed this car the way we bought it. We and ran then it as RM24? 22. 22. 22. Yeah, they took the cash on it. We didn't know what to do with the car. It was cool to have it around. Um, but yeah. it's cooler to give it away. This this is gonna go to somebody. People were not having it any other way. No. They were just like, hey, you have to give us another chance to win this car. Uh, and I'm really excited because this time around, someone is definitely taking the car yep. along with the biggest cash prize we've ever done was fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. So that's that's life changing for me. I mean, being able to have a car like this. Some people, it's too valuable of a car or, or whatever the case is. And we've had people say, I'm, I'm gonna sell the, the prize car. Uh, but now that you have the cash, it opens up your options to keep the car, enjoy it, have some cash, pay your taxes, you know, do something cool, make your life insurance. better, get some insurance, pay for gas. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's also pretty thirsty, so. And um, how crazy is it, like for those sunglasses in your hand, nice polarized sunglasses, yep, right? Like, yep. Nice glasses. You get those, you get buy one, get one free, and you get 80 entries to win this 1,000 horsepower 69 Chevelle and $50,000. Yeah, sun's coming out. Uh, what better way to just uh, get your entries to win a car than to put some sunglasses on your face Your future too. is bright. You better put some shades on. <laughs> that was the line, huh? See that, what I did there? Your future is bright. <laughs> All right, guys, let me flip this thing around. That's it, uh, we're signing off uh, on the garage update. Uh, it is Friday, June 14th, 14th. Not the best with dates, but I do know that July 12th is the last day to get entered to win RM26, which is this 1,000 horsepower 69 Chevelle and $50,000 in cash. You can again do that just by heading to restomods.com. If you need a new pair of shades because it is summer and your future is bright, pick those up right now. It's buy one, get one free. Joe's gonna drop the code right here, right now. You're gonna buy one, get one free. You're gonna get 80 entries to win this 69 Chevelle and 50 grand in cash. So good luck, have a great weekend, and God bless.